Dana, every single piece of research we've had basically over the last week has been a bank somewhere on Wall Street upgrading their terminal rate view. Goldman, the latest, they look for 4 to 4.25 by year end in 22 and maybe higher than that by the time we get through 2023. Dana, the number one pushback the Lisa gets, that I get, that Tom gets, is that we can't live with 4% rates, that this economy just can't live with it, that the debt piles is too high, uh, the sovereign and the treasury. Dana, do you agree with that? What's the constructive view on why we can live with a 4 or 4.5% Fed funds rate? Well, I mean, first of all, I want to say the conference board came out really early with that call for an uh, interest rate of uh, topping out at 4 percent. And we've even been saying it could be even higher if inflation doesn't uh, really move and it remains sticky. But I think the Aguas economy can. And certainly uh, when you think about um, what policymakers have been saying, they're saying, look, you know, we're in for a bit of pain, which I think is code for a recession, a mild, maybe brief recession. And certainly when you look at the labor markets, that's still super strong. It's going to remain uh, pretty robust, especially given the fact that you have labor shortages. And so that means there's still going to be some hiring and not a cratering in the labor market. I think with all of that, yes, uh, the U.S. economy is going to have to endure a period of elevated interest rates in order to tackle inflation. Inflation's the worst problem here.